Hi, this is Rick Levine here today to talk with you about the Aquarius full moon eclipse on August 18th, and that's at 2.26 a.m. here on the West Coast. What does this mean? Well, all full moons are polarities, and this is a polarity between the sun in heartfelt I love you, Leo, and cerebral nervous system love kind of separate from the individual Aquarius. Aquarius is distributed consciousness. So it's not about my feelings, it's about humanity. It's about global issues, whether it's in our personal life or you know on the planet. And so this full moon eclipse is going to tweak the energies. You see, all eclipses are disruptive and disruption is not necessarily a bad thing because an eclipse can basically take what's going on and kind of throw a, a spanner, a, a, a wrench into the works, into the gears that kind of stop things or make things change. It's almost as if the, the lights have been getting gradually brighter, like the full moon has been waxing for two weeks. And all of a sudden, within a few hours, it goes dark and light again. And what this does is it, is it tweaks out our brains, our nervous systems. It's like blinking a lot and kind of everything is, is shifted and funny, like, like someone's playing with the light switch of our consciousness. So to make matters even more interesting or more intense, this particular full moon is sextile Uranus, sextiles, our, plan, our, our aspects having to do with cooperation. And so, so Uranus is trining the sun and sextiling the moon, which means that the electrical aspect of any eclipse is amplified even more during this time. We have a few other aspects that are significant. One is the fact that that Venus, the planet of love, is harmonized with Pluto, the planet of depth, intensity, and passion. There's nothing casual about the energy of this eclipse, even though we may experience it cerebrally, in our minds, in our brains. The fact is that we also are experiencing stuff very viscerally, very much in our body, and we can't separate ourselves from our opinions, our beliefs, and so we're likely to get worked up over stuff. The last thing that's of importance is the fact that Mars direct has moved over the past few weeks into Sagittarius and over the next week it's going to line up with Saturn in Sagittarius. We already can feel at this full moon eclipse this restrictive energy. It's like we have boundaries and walls that are out there. We're still willing to do whatever it takes to upset them, turn them upside down. That's the eclipse, that's the Iranian energy, and yet the structures and the walls are more stable than we think, and sooner or later we're going to have to deal with the reality of what's sitting behind this kind of crazier energy. For Tarot.com, I'm Rick Levine.